Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, welcome back. This is starting day three of our Cookie Clicker 100% speedrun, which is going to take at least a year, and hopefully exactly one year if we play well. And uh, don't worry, I'm not going to be making a video every day for the whole year. Um, for the first uh, few days, just because there's a lot going on, there'll be a video each day, but probably after day five, it'll be a video every three or four days. And after the first um, like two weeks, it'll probably just be a video once a month. I went ahead and brushed up a lot of the buildings, like the next um, achievement mark. Uh, so just to increase our... Uh, milk level and get a better kitten multiplier. Today's run isn't going to be that eventful. I'm just following my software route until the first ascension, so probably only going to check in with y'all every couple hours and probably combine this with the next day or two's um, content. All right, crone rice is mature, man. Uh, but before we harvest it, let's do a quick check. Yeah, okay, it's going to be a while <laughs> to get this again. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down a thumb corn or a thumb corn once we're done with this frenzy and see if we can get a guild millet before harvesting. All right, before we do that though, guys, it's uh, it's time, it's happening. We got the the first quad combo. So we got the uh, frenzy and, oh, actually a pretty good um, building special. And sure enough, this is just luck. I didn't have this thing stored up. I just checked it. Uh, we got a click frenzy here. So it resets. Where's the hand of fate? Cell, 100. Where is it? Where is it? Click it. There we go. Holy nuts, man. This is a crazy combo. Buy as many of these things as we can. Uh, buy another 100. Can we get another? Oh, heck yeah, man. Yeah, that we now... <laughs> So we now have, I think, about 20 times as many cookies baked in total uh, as we did before we started. We got a guild millet now. So currently we're saving up for uh, the all bets are off magic coin. Um, here's the state of our buildings. Just here's a look at the stats right now. Oh yeah, we hit 100 achievements. Oh yeah, there we go. Metal weed. Only took over a over 1,000 reloads. Uh, at first, my goal before the next sugar lump was just to ascend once, but at this rate, that's going to be pretty easy. Uh, so now I'm more curious to see if we can get Dragon Curve before the next sugar lump is mature. Hey, right, so these are the uh, Crumb Spore and Brown Mold. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop showing like each individual new plant just because it's getting kind of annoying for me, so I'm imagining it's getting kind of annoying for you guys. Um, pretty much in short, you can find this chart on the cookie clicker wiki and it just shows you how to make all the plants i'm pretty much following this and just using safe scumming to speed things up it looks like we could start the gram apocalypse right now if we wanted but i'm gonna hold off on it i think it actually is usually better to start it but just we're we're getting pretty close to ascending and we got a good thing going here so um, i'll worry about the gram apocalypse for the next ascension so it's been a while now without a uh or effect combo so before what i was doing was i was working the garden and just kind of waiting for a uh, frenzy building special to occur naturally um but switching it up now and so now i'm actually uh waiting i'm, I'm creating this artificially with saves coming now so uh i saved the game right when this frenzy started and then i'm just clicking the next golden cookie it's about a 1 in 20 chance that it's going to be a building special, and if it's not, I just reset and try again. So, um, I've already been, I've already been doing, looking for the natural combo for over 40 minutes, and this way at the least should be about 40 minutes to get it. I'm not sure what's going on, but as I've been reloading, these frenzies have been getting longer. See, we started at two minutes 38 seconds. Last one was, I think, 3.22, and now it's up to 4.10. I don't know what to make of this. So one thing that might be contributing is... Um, when the next golden cookie appears, if it's a frenzy, I'll click export save, save again, and uh, replace the frenzy effect with the new golden cookies frenzy effect. 
And originally I was just doing that to kind of help bump the garden along, but might be also having a weirder effect here. Huh. Yeah, look at that. And now what happens if we reload? And it went up again. Okay, well, we just got a building combo, so we're going to lose this frenzy anyways. But um, I think I decided that we got to... I'm going to call this scum extending um, an effect. We got to allow scum extending an effect just because it pretty much happens if you're using uh, scum saving for golden cookie combos. So if we're going to be doing a run with scum saving, it's just going to be annoying if we allow scum saving, but ban ourselves from using scum extension of effects. So um, if this makes it, you know, the run too easy or too overpowered, then I think the answer should just be that uh, we should play without scum saving. Uh, with that being said, um, we also have a, a click frenzy stored up right here. So we can just go ahead and do a... Hopefully this will actually be the last combo before we ascend. Reload. Of course, the hand of fate. Sell off 100 cursors. All right, there we go. Okay, we gotta get to 440. Oh, that's looking pretty easy, actually. Okay, there's Godsmodok. Buy a bunch of upgrades. Buy 100. Sell 100. Ooh, it's gonna be... This is looking kind of close, actually. Oh my goodness. Buy 100, sell. Oh, we didn't make it. That was close, though. I'm actually gonna... Let's reload and try that one more time. Uh, I think we can get 440 here. Come on, we can make it. Ooh, okay, there we go. Whew. That's so cool. Okay. Um, I've mentioned this before, but just a refresher. I'm pretty much just following an ascension guide that you can find on the Cookie Clicker wiki. So um, big thanks to the people who put time into making this. All the suit here. All right, here we go. Uh, is there anything we should do beforehand? Nah, I think we're good. Alright. That's so cool. Alright. I think we're good to go. Sweet. Lots of achievements. And now we get to see how fast, just how fast we can make progress doing this. I mean, you guys get the point. It's a lot faster now. Like, you know, when we did our never click in hardcore, it took a few hours to get to a billion. You know, we're at 15 minutes and we're at almost 20 billion. Still just following my little routing software thing, you know, nothing special. So now it's that plus unlocking the dragon should be a lot quicker. We have the grimoire pretty much up and running and I just got the third of the uh, golden cookie upgrades. So since we're going to allow ourselves to scum extend golden cookie effects, I kind of wanted to see how far we can go with that. Yeah, actually cancel that. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. To just focus on experimenting with uh, scum extending golden cookie effects. It's going to put a dent in our garden time and just kind of waste the effort because we don't have a like frenzy ready. So yeah, we can experiment with that later maybe when we have a little bit more wiggle room. But right now I just want to like tunnel vision in on getting... Uh, the garden up to speed and it fates and then yeah this is pretty good it's getting pretty late um i finished making all the purchases with all the cookies we got from that and there you just got to see something super weird which is uh when you scum extend an effect so here frenzy um when you get another frenzy cookie, it refills it all the way. So uh, this was up to like 10 minutes and then dropped down to eight minutes, which I think had something to do with the grimoire. But yeah, so later on in the game right now, I think frenzy is the only effect we can extend because um, 
as far as I can tell so far, the only way to do this is if the effect is longer than the appearance frequency of golden cookies. Um, but later on, when we have the full garden and golden clovers and whatnot, we should actually be able to, uh, in parallel, some extend, like, Frenzy and Dragon Harvest and maybe even, like, building specials or something else. Yeah, it's, but this is a really weird bug. I still don't know how I feel about using it or even strategizing with it in the run, so I'm on the fence about it. Part of me is, like, doesn't want to use it because it is a bug, but at the same time, it's, like, if you're going to be using scum saving for golden cookie combos, it's, it's impossible, like, it's pretty much impossible to avoid this. What's up, y'all? It's the next morning. And it's time for us to do our second round of lump scumming. But first, I'm going to change one of the rules. So I was screwing around with Eternal Frenzy. And first of all, I'm not actually sure it's a bug with the functionality of Golden Cookies. It might actually just be a bug with how they're displayed. Um, but either way, let's see. I don't know, can you guys... Let's see where this far. You remember our rules we made for the game. I'm crossing off the part that says no glitches. My thought process is just pretty much like there's two kinds of, you know, speedruns we could do for this game or for any game. One is where, you know, we speedrun the game and play it as intended. No manipulations. No uh, save state reloading, no save scumming, no glitches, no manipulations. And then the other way to speedrun a game is to exploit it and find manipulations and use them. And we're already doing save scumming, so we're already in that cat. I'd rather do full on one or the other. So full on we're playing the game as Ortail intended, or full on we're looking for bugs, glitches, exploits. Um, clever, unthought of tricks to speed up the game. And I still, I don't want to, like, manipulate the clock. I don't want to hack. I don't want to cheat. No console, nothing like that. But I don't want to be in this weird gray zone in the middle where we're like, oh, okay, well, some manipulations are okay, but others aren't. And it's just kind of arbitrary, which we choose. So from this point on, I want, I want this, like, to be able to look back on this speed run this playthrough and say this is what it looks like when you exploit cookie clicker as much as possible and then we also got a uh, uh, the queen bee so um, we're pretty much ready although what sucks is I was really hoping that we could get a dragon curve before doing our next lumps coming but we're just not quite there yet it's been exactly one hour and we got a little over 300 saves down. It goes a little faster when the sugar lump is ripe because you don't have to re-click because of botched harvests. It's Friday morning, game's back up, and it's time to finish off our second round of lumps coming. No golden sugar lump today, but we did get another caramelized, so uh, that's good because with that at the very least, we will be able to complete the garden. If I can get three. Oh, there we go. Here. Two sugar lumps. There we go. Three by three garden. All right. Very good to ascend. This ascension is going way faster than the previous ones. But we got to get our uh, queen beets planted because we're going to try to get the uh, juicy queen beet on this ascension. And I think we're going to try a uh, Christmas season just because it has the most uh, achievements you can get. Right, it looks like we got our first wrinkler. Alright, just a quick update. It's only been a like an hour but progress is going so fast that i feel like i gotta show you guys what's going on oh speaking of which good timing um 
I have been uh, scumming for a good combo because we got a cookie storm saved up. So let's go ahead and execute that. All right, this should do it. Yeah, that's a ton of cookie. This is a long cookie storm. Oh, I guess because the cookie storm is in effect, any upgrades we get that increase the duration of golden cookies increase it also. Okay, realized I totally forgot to uh, change the day count. We are on day four. Almost done with it, actually. Looks like all the queen beats are, are growing up now. And because of all the buildings we have, we actually have the last um, type of soil, which uh, gives us more mutations. So um, we're going to probably have to scum for a while, but not as much now. There she is. Uh, check about actually half of the resets that would be the average, so this is a pretty lucky Juicy Queen Beat. Well, I was save scumming the Juicy Queen Beat, which by the way works really well. Um, like each time you uh, save scum a garden tick, you can, you know, for three minutes of wait time, you can shave like an hour off of its growth time. Anyways, uh, we got an Elder Frenzy, so I saved like as soon as I you know, saw that we got it, um, and super fortunately, I also had a click frenzy waiting here in the grimoire, so, you know, with both of these, you can see we're, you know, like, seven octillion or something, with both together, <laughs> we get, like, 80 octillion per click, so, um, we have Godzamok, uh, ready to go in the Pantheon also, so, yeah, gotta see just how much we can get out of a combo here. Right, load, quick, sell, all, cursor, quick. Okay. I think I'll take that one. That's pretty good. Hey. Sorry to recording at the tail end of that, but just got super lucky with an Elder Frenzy and uh, let's see how many deer that took. That was the 59th reindeer. We're over 50% of the normal upgrades, and almost at 50% of the achievements. We're at the end of day four. Right now I'm just working through the garden, not really in any particular order. And yeah, that's going to close it up for day four, and I think for this video. 